IT Ability Level 1 and 2. Quick Start Guide. We begin with contemplating. Breathing in, the palms face the sky, and as you exhale, your hands are going to rotate and face the earth. The elbows are moving with your breath. Inhaling, they move in, and exhaling, they move out. Transitioning to floating, the arms will reach forward. Inhale and exhale, let the arms come back to the fronts of your body. Then the water will lift them up as they come up. You breathe in, as they move down, you exhale. Transitioning from floating to uplifting, your arms will travel farther back, and then from here move out and wide to the sides. Breathing in, they float up, and as you exhale, they come back down. There's a small rotation in the wrists. It should feel comfortable. Transitioning from uplifting to enclosing. Your hands will be near the surface of the water and then they'll travel around to the front. Exhale, inhale, and they open. There's a small figure eight or infinity symbol shape as the arms change direction. They circle around and reach back. The flow of this motion should have an easy reach behind you. Transitioning from enclosing to folding, when your arms are out at your side, you bring the elbows close and now cross the hands across your body. Breathing in, open the hands wide, keep the elbows anchored at your sides. Gently reaching back, this is more rotator cuff focused. It'll be a left hand over a right, followed by a right hand over a left. Transitioning from folding to soothing, your arms are going to reach out wide and rest at the sides of your body high in the water. Then the left hand reaches over and across. Exhale, inhale and open the left. Soothing is both a left arm movement and then we're going to use our right arm to do the same thing. Traveling across the front of the body near the surface of the water, inhaling while the arm opens and exhaling as it closes. Transitioning from soothing to gathering, your movements are now going to turn to face your right side and you're looking straight out at the left arm while the right arm reaches back. There's a small balance beam underneath your feet. If it feels like you need help with balance here, you can move close to the wall where you can hold on. We turn to face the other side and repeat the same movement, gathering. Now looking at the right arm as the left hand reaches back. Transitioning from gathering to freeing, you'll find your center with both arms open as you breathe in, and then the movement takes you towards the right, and you reach. Your vision is going to fix on something to help you with your balance. You're going to go through center, turning the other direction, standing on that balance beam if you feel you have the comfort and the balance for it, and then you come back around. Freeing is both a movement to your right and a movement to your left. You can feel that this has the greatest challenge in your shoulders and you have no twisting at this point either, even though there's this opportunity to reach around really big. We transition from freeing to shifting, finding the center, and then you're going to shift all your weight over onto your right side and bring your left hand across and gently open that left arm. When you're ready to shift to the other side, your right arm will come across. If it feels too complicated at first, you can start with just the feet, feeling the movement in the feet and adding the arms once it seems that you've got that sensation of balance on one leg and then balance on the other leg. We transition from shifting to accepting by turning towards the right, 
I'm now standing on that balance beam. Both arms are going to reach forward. Inhale and open. Exhale and reach forward. This is accepting. And then we'll do it on the other side by first finding our center, transitioning, stepping around, looking to the other side, both arms open. Exhaling, they reach forward. Inhale, they open. We transition from accepting to accepting with grace, turning to face the right. Your weight is going to put itself squarely on your left leg. Inhale, open the arms and the right foot will come up off the floor. And then put your weight into the movement back to the earth. This is a balance game, so push forward. And then we do it on the other side, accepting with grace. Now your weight is going to square off onto the right leg and the left foot will fly or float comfortably. Breathing in when the arms open and exhaling when the arms close. We transition from accepting with grace to rounding, taking it all the way around again to face the right. And rounding will begin by opening the arms with a breath in and then exhaling, drawing the hands forward and stepping that left leg forward. Step back with the left, open the arms, breathe in. This is rounding. It might just be a hamstring focus, could be a little bit of a shoulder focus, stretching as you reach to the front. And then we'll do it on the other side. Step around, find that balance, and reach forward now with your right. And step that right foot back. Both hands are reaching forward as the right leg comes forward and rounding. We transition from rounding to balancing, turning back to face the right, breathing in. And now your weight is going to stabilize onto the left foot while you onto the right foot as you draw that left leg forward. And inhaling, extending the arms, exhaling, drawing the arms back. There's a little tap of the foot forward or you can let the wet water lift the leg higher and stretch a little bit more, balance a little bit more. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Opening, stepping around, balancing. The fingertips are going to reach back. The right foot reaches, the right foot steps back. If you feel like you have good balance, you can let that right foot float up higher. We transition from balancing to encircling, taking it back through center. Step into a nice wide stance, and your arms are now going to make a large circle pressing out to the right, sweeping around to the left. Bringing it in from the low belly up to the heart, exhale, extend out. There's a circle which has a spiraling shape it starts low with the breath in and exhale comes high in the water. And then we do the same thing to the other side. Press out to the left, circle around, come down low, breathe in again from the belly button up. Exhale as you press out, heart level. Encircling part B. The hands stay low and circle around to the right and circle around to the left. It's a follow the leader where one hand follows, both palms facing the same direction. One time it'll be your left arm following your right, and the next time it'll be your right arm following your left. We transition from encircling to surrounding. Hands are now going to face one another and you're going to pull this around to the side of your hip like you're holding a ball in the palms of your hands. And we'll rotate the ball, drawing the elbow back. It's very low and close to the hip, stays very close to the body, surrounding. Both the circle travels both to the right hip and to the left hip. And then surrounding transitions into nurturing. With the left leg stepping back and the right in front of you, you're going to draw a giant circle out over the front of your right side. Inhaling the hands travel up, exhaling the hands travel forward. Palms are going to reach upward 
Then the palms extend down and out. When we do the same thing on the other side, stepping back. So the left leg goes forward and the right is behind you, stretching out, reaching those giant circles forward over the left leg. Nurturing transitions into flowing. There's a small step of in with your left, out with your right, in with your left, out with your right, and then it goes back the other way. We can step together or step across. The arms are going to add to this. When the legs are open, the arms will cross in front of your belly button. And when your legs open, the arms are then in that crossed position. As your arms open, your legs come together. Cross the arms, open the legs, open the arms, cross the legs. When we transition from flowing to reflecting, now the movements are left arm and left leg cross. And now we turn ourselves around small steps. Now the right arm and right leg cross, and we turn ourselves around with small steps. If reflecting and turning from facing front to facing back feels uncomfortable, you don't have to make the turn around. You can just draw your arms and legs together and then open them. The exhale crosses everything, the inhale opens everything. Transitioning from reflecting to folding. We stand stable, elbows close to the body, and we fold the arms across the navel. Inhaling and opening. This should feel familiar. This is one of the first exercises we did. We move from folding. This transitions into enclosing. And we'll make those big wave shapes with the arms, those infinity circles, traveling forward and back. Transitioning from enclosing to uplifting, the arms are going to come down near the hips or possibly farther back. And then float up towards the sky, breathing in, staying in the water, exhaling and drawing back down towards the earth. We transition from uplifting into floating by bringing the arms forward. And from that, we draw that lightness upward and bring it back down. Floating the arms up, inhale, exhaling and coming down. And we transition from floating to contemplating with the arms resting, palms skyward, breathe in, and exhaling, turn the hands towards the earth. This concludes your Aichi practice.